Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Um, I'm going to see how this is going to go. This is going to be interesting. At least I suspect it will be. So before I get to that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Make sure I'm plugged in here. Hmm, hopefully you can hear me. Um, Best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 372. And today's topic actually was inspired by a conversation, but it also impinges just a little bit on the sad news a lot of us heard today about uh, Tony Bourdain. And I know my talk won't be about what happened. However, there's some things about the emotional component I want to talk about. So I'm going to put that in the conversation. So just, you know, ahead of time, I'm going to include that with Kate and with Tony, what happened to them. Because even though the talk is about relationship-centric in this talk, that's not what I believe the circumstances were for these two because their relationship status was different. But what this is talked about, let me start with that. Welcome to 372, number 372, my daily Facebook Lives. This one is basically, if you've been hurt or abused or... um. I would say challenge is a very very safe word, but if you've been if you've been hurt or abused in a relationship, the temptation sometimes is to go looking for love in the next one, hoping you'll fix everything. And that is an error in approach. And I've talked about this before, but I want to give you some subtle hints in this level about going deeper instead. And I did a hashtag about suicide is not a, not a, is not an option or not a choice. Because some people look at they're gonna be in a relationship or they're gonna be done with the planet. I mean they take it that seriously. And I want to break you of that suspicion if that's the thought you have because life is too important to throw it away and being single is not throwing life away that's not because i'll get to i think in the talk it's 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 going around in circles so we'll see where it goes um so if you haven't joined me before i do these talks every day this is number 308 372 over a year's worth of these now and today's talk as most of the talks are tends to be downloaded versus me just repeating back what I've learnt, although bits meld together. So just be, bear in mind that I may have pauses and may have stuff that comes out of left field. That's because that's the way spirit or whatever I call it comes through me. So just be aware of that. So first of all, for some people, not you, but somebody you know, relationships are very challenging and the pain and suffering they experience in relationships keeps them moving from relationship to relationship to relationship and there's no gap in between <clears throat> excuse me in fact in their wiring in their wiring there is this belief that the next person will fix everything the next person will be their salvation the next person will be their true love the next person will be different from the one before and that is a that is a trap <clears throat> and it's a lie to be honest. I'll get to the because in a minute. I'm jumping, I'm jumping, I want to keep on this track for a second for a jump to the because in a moment. So bear with me. So what happens is for a lot of people, again, not people who watch my broadcast because you've learned, I'm sure I've all the broadcasts I've done how to do things differently. But for many people out there, their relationship skills are only as effective as a relationship they're in. And I should say the relationship skills are actually absent because they didn't do any study outside the relationship. They spent most of the time going from relationship to relationship to relationship or relationship to relationship to relationship, more sequential that way, in a, from a place or in a place that is bound to a limited view of the world. And that lens they're looking through, as I said before in other talks, is actually from their upbringing and from their training, in quotes, as a child in their family dynamics to learn how to be in a relationship based on what they watch their parents do. And that means they oftentimes people marry their parents, as in marrying somebody who reminds them of their parents, not intentionally, but subconsciously. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I've gone into this in much greater depth in past weeks. But I want to speak to the, another part of this, which is that wiring that you're running as an autopilot, as an adult in your relationship choices, means that if you as a child, watched your husband, sorry, watched your father hurt your mother, you may have some wiring inside, a belief inside that love requires that the woman gets hurt by the man. 
sometimes vice versa. But the wiring is that sometimes overt, sometimes subtle, but sometimes overt. And so in relationships you go into, you may feel that it's okay to be hurt. Sounds crazy to say it like that, but is that what you've been experiencing? Because it is, this is the wiring that's running the show and it's not healthy, neither at all. So getting back to the because I was getting to it a bit earlier, the cycle of going from relationship to relationship because the last one sucked, so let, me hope, let me hope the next one's going to be better. The next one's going to be healthier. The next one's going to be more loving. The next one's going to be more awake. The next one's going to be simply different than the one before. It really is an error in approach. It's a failure in effect because what's happening is you are in a paradigm where you're actually in a, not in a spiral, but in a circle, looping around, looping around, looping around the behaviors forever. And the truth of this is that will never change. It will keep circling around the same place. If you were hurt in one relationship, you'll get hurt in the next one, quite likely. I mean, you might once in a while be in a relationship where it doesn't happen, but it'd be a fluke. Because for most people, that cycle continues forever because they didn't change the wiring inside that's driving that circuit in the first place. I didn't plan on being electrical about it, but I guess that covers the point. So your relationship choices, your relationship um, focus is driven by your history. It's driven by your autopilot. It's driven by the wiring inside that you have. That's why I said in the title, or put in the title, if you've been abused or hurt in life's relationships, don't go into another relationship. Instead, dive deep. And what I mean by dive deep, by diving deep, is self-investigation or self-support, self-revealing, self-healing. That's one way of putting it. Which, if you're, if you're really skilled in this stuff, you can do on your own. I mean, I, I've, I've learned to do this myself and I also have resources to go to. Because of my own journey through my background in psychology and everything I've learned, I've become pretty skilled in this because, frankly, <laughs> I couldn't deal with it anymore. I knew I had to change, and I got really clear about that, which is why I help my clients do that. But the second part is, is that you want to change the wiring inside because if you really are, if you really are ready for a change in your relationship experience, you've got to change the wiring inside that chooses it for you. That wiring, again, below the subconscious, is what actually drives your wiring to attract what you think you want. You may say you want this or ideal over here. I should put them uh, that side on the screen. <laughs> if that's the ideal you want, but you keep ending up with this, and it happens repeatedly at this level, that, that dream, I'm going to point the right direction on the screen, that dream isn't going to be lining up because you're tied into the wiring at this level. And that wiring is embedded in you because it came in at a very young age. This is not stuff you learn as an adult, stuff you learn as a child. And the reality is it will not change of its own accord. That's why you do the self-reflection, self self-investigation, self-healing. It helps you have somebody guiding you, hint, hint. But get some help to get clear on that because then you can change everything. You can change your whole paradigm of relationship and become much more effective as a partner, much more effective as a decider of who you want to be with, and a much more effective um, attractor of true love. How about that? I need, I'm sorry, I'm just watching, yeah. So I want to speak about, I just want to do a slight caveat because this suffering experience that people go through in relationships is not unique just to relationships. In the case of Anthony Bourdain and um, Kate um, Spade, both of them had their reasons. I don't believe it was relationship-centric. I could be wrong, but I don't believe it was relationship-centric. But the thing I want to say just as a PS for this, because this is true for other things too, is that sometimes you feel after a bad relationship, you want to quit and get out. Done. Had enough. The last relationship was so painful, so wounding, such a heartbreak, that you want to end it all. As an example, by the, like these two did too. I want to say this to all of you, watching this and saying it to myself, because I'm looking in the camera as I'm saying this. We're here for a reason on the planet. I firmly believe it. Our life, our journey, our opportunity on the planet is vital for us to be here. To choose out of our own accord is a cheat of the system. It's actually shortcutting what's ha meant to happen. And the biggest thing I learned this morning, I was talking to somebody else and got really clear about this, is it's a very selfish act. Because if you choose to leave the planet, those you leave behind are hurt. They're wounded. They're upset. So if you've had a bad relationship, for example, getting back to my topic, and you think it's, worth, it's better for you to leave than to stay, don't choose that option. 
who you are, what you bring to the world, may not have been revealed, may not have even been revealed yet, but I guarantee you it's necessary and somebody else's life, somebody else's life will be changed, transformed and uplifted because of your presence. So why would you want to li- why would you, you want to deny them that option opportunity? If you're a coach like myself or you speak or you inspire or you do music or you're something else, think of all the tens, hundreds, thousands of people, millions of people whose lives you change, you touch because of your gifts. And that's more important than leaving. That's more important than avoiding your pain by committing suicide. So my invitation to you is reach out for help. Get support, get help from somewhere. But remember, you're not alone. And in the context of relationship, getting back into my topic, if you are someone who has had immense pain, abuse, and suffering in past relationships, you don't have to keep running that road. You can make a different choice, and suicide is not a choice. You can make a choice to get help, because the reality is you can keep repeating that cycle, or repeating that circle, or I can learn to elevate and create a spiral. This is actually a spiral of dynamics, a part of that. You can actually learn how to grow beyond it and become much healthier, more successful, in your love life, in your relationships, in the way of being, so that life becomes a joyful experience for the rest of your life. If that sounds good, I'm glad this message reached you. <laughs> and if it does sound good and you want help in that, reach out to me. My invitation to you every time I do this broadcast is to sit down and have a chat with me, a 30-minute conversation called a discovery session or a complimentary clarity conversation, as I've nicknamed it. You can just grab a 30-minute time on my calendar to talk about this my gift to you, see where you are, where you're looking to go, if I can help you, and if you want to sign up with me. There's no requirement, no push, no pressure. That, if you go to my website, is barryselby.com forward slash chat. My name, barryselby.com forward slash chat, or you can go onto my site and find the Let's Chat button on the navigation bar. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day. This is number 372. So I've done over a year's worth of these, and they all live on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author as well as on my YouTube channel, because they end up there as well. By the way, if you watch this on YouTube, that's why you may wonder what I was talking about. This was on Facebook Live first. But on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, is the channel, and and Messages from the Masculine is the playlist. I hope this has been of use to you and this inspires you. My reminder to you is this. Yeah. Your homework, I have to give you homework, is to take time to look in the mirror and love yourself. Tell yourself, look in your eyes, connect with yourself in the mirror and say, I love you and mean it. And if you want to make it structural, do it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, five minutes a day, five minutes, five minutes each time for a month. That's a prescription. That's your, that's your uh, prescription of, of, for wholeness and wellness. And, uh, and then let me know how it goes. Take care of yourself first so you can then take care of others. That's because we talked about that last week as well. Um, because you deserve it. We want you to be around. I do want you to be around. And with that, I'm going to sign off. Thank you for watching. If you haven't seen, if you haven't watched this from the beginning, please watch from the beginning. There's some value in here, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another broadcast. All right, take care.